I'd like to share a little contrary motion study with you. This is chromatic contrary motion. I enjoy coming up with these. I enjoy playing them, seeing how the fingerings lie on the fingerboard, and what happens when we try to find perhaps systematic ways of doing these. So this is somewhat systematic. And I'll explain what I mean here. We're gonna start with the interval of a tenth, a usable, more or less consonant interval. And we're gonna run the bass line up by half steps and the uh, soprano line down. Then we're gonna come back. Be sure to check out the Contrary Motion Studies playlist that I'll put a link to in the description below if you like these kinds of things. I think they're really great for visualizing the board, for knowing your note names, and being able to think in a different way than just diatonic harmony. So here's D and F sharp, five and seven. Now those are gonna, the fingers are gonna have to converge from the fifth and seventh fret to the sixth and sixth fret. So from D to F sharp, five and seven, let's say E flat and D, or sorry, E flat and F, E and E. You could also think D and F sharp, D sharp and F, E and E. So we've come to this kind of switch between two fingers going this way and then two fingers going that way. Off towards the bridge and off towards the headstock. So then we're going to jump up seven, five and seven, six and six. I'm using little finger and first finger. Seven and five, maybe middle two fingers, eight and eight. F and E flat. And now we're going to get that situation again where we we go from towards the headstock. So we had this, now we have this. So F sharp and D. Interesting to note, we've done a voice exchange. D and F sharp, F sharp and D. continue on. Now we need the D to go to C sharp or D flat. We need this F sharp to go up to G. So we're not going to do anything in this study that that would create some stretch like this. I remember having a seminar with Tommy Tedesco and he referred derisively to bedroom chords, things that were super stretchy, things that you'd have to prepare so I'll never forget he said that, and I've always tried to keep things practical and relatively easy. So just even this as a finger exercise would be good. I'm just jockeying between seven and nine, eight and eight with first finger, little finger, middle two fingers, eight and eight, little finger, first finger, nine and seven. There, I tried to go one further, just for fun. Something fun to do, but back to our little exercise here. So now we need G and C sharp. We're gonna get them here. It looks like a little little dominant chord. Looks like A7 over G. So then this is 10 and 11. I'm using middle two fingers. And 
now we have to cross them. So 10 and 11, G and C sharp are going to become G sharp and C. Then getting close to the unison here, A and B, 12 and 9, and they're both going to merge into this single B flat here. So we, we think of this B flat as springing forth an upper voice and a lower voice. I've talked about this in other contrary motion study videos. Again, the link will be in the description to the playlist that sometimes you'll find these real tonal pairings along the way. D major could be E flat nine or other things could be E7 maybe, F7, D major, A7, maybe A flat major, A and B, anybody's guess, could be a couple of things, B flat by itself. So 8th fret, B flat, then 12 and 9 again. 11 and 10, 10 and 11. Now we have some choices here. We can either go back to our off to the side this way, but I'm gonna suggest that we come out to this sixth here, ninth and 12th fret, F sharp and D. And then we go into our straight across eight and eight, F and E flat. Now we're going to get E and E, which we haven't had before like this. We had it like this before, so now we're getting it this way. And now we're entering, what did we say, E flat and F to D and F sharp. This is 6 and 6, 5 and 7. But part of learning the board would be to be able to follow these lines and see for yourself how they're going and what we need to do to continue the line. So now I'd need C. And here we've arrived at double B flats, if I continued. Notice we had the single B flat here that's widened out to a, to a double B flat, starting with D and F sharp. But notice that the pairs are tritones. The E's were doubled, and the B flats were doubled. So it's very interesting the way it cuts in half that way with chromatic contrary motion. So I hope you found something of interest here. A new way to see the board maybe, a new way to use the fingers. I'm trying to offer things that are helpful. Be sure to check out the playlists. There are over 30 at this point. I try to load them up with things that are related and might be fun. This is all supposed to be fun, folks. I hope this finds you doing marvelously well, and I wish you, as always, a very good day.